Well, two specialists at the University of Washington are backing a possible new strategy to speed up vaccine distribution nationwide. Experts say just one dose of a vaccine rather than two would make it 50% effective compared to 95% efficacy. Joining us live right now, one of those researchers backing the strategy, Dr. Ruan Barnabas. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me on today. So the FDA says that this approach is, is premature. There's no solid evidence behind it. Uh, why are you choosing to, to back this one dose approach? So ideally, we would administer two doses to everyone exactly as was tested in the clinical trials. But given the enormous increase in the number of cases of COVID, and this month alone, we can expect to see 50 to 100,000 deaths from COVID-19 in the US, thinking about what, how we can speed up the number of people receiving the vaccine is a critical discussion. And we can see from the evidence for, from the clinical trials that after the first dose, there is good efficacy. And in fact, in the United Kingdom, they are moving ahead with an extended interval. So they're allowing 12 weeks between the first and, and the second dose rather than the three and four doses. And there are several strategies that could help us make the best use of available vaccine. Moderna is looking at giving two half doses, which would be also a way to reach more people, having an extended interval between the two doses, and then testing the single dose strategy. We do need more evidence, but we could acquire that evidence. And the main focus here is protecting as many people as possible. Yeah, and so, so why you know, go against the, the proven clinical trials? Is it because you think more lives will be saved if you do it this way as opposed to what they are doing right now? Yeah, so there have been several analyses looking at even how the distribution of vaccines work. At the moment, we're holding back half the number of vaccines, but could be those seen while we wait for additional doses to be manufactured. Uh, we could have a longer interval between the two doses. And the, the main reason would be to save lives. So I, I understand that this argument of, of quantity over uh, you know, trying to follow some of the uh, guidelines that have already been set up, some of the, the plans that have been in place. Is the issue here also of getting more personnel, more people who are able to administer these shots faster? Yes, so th this is a good question. There's the question about do we have the workforce to administer all these vaccines on time? And, and that is a solvable problem. It's non-trivial. It will require a fair amount of work to get all these vaccines delivered. But uh, we, we can step up and work out those workforce issues in order to, to deliver the vaccine. You know, really at the heart of this is the question of equity. We want as many people to benefit from vaccination as possible. Yeah, well, at last check, about 20% of available first dose shots have been administered in Washington state. So how will having, you know, more doses available speed up that process? How, how quickly would all that happen then? It, of course, it depends on how quickly we're able to mobilize the workforce, but we need to make the decision to use the vaccines to promote public health. And that is a, a separate decision. Public health authorities can approve a different vaccine schedule other than the one tested in the clinical trial. And at that, that's what has been done in the UK and that's worth considering here as well. So I know the UK also dealing with this new variant of coronavirus that is proving to be more contagious. We've seen it in several states here. So one could anticipate that it's going to quickly move throughout the United States if it hasn't already done so. Do you think that, that given the, um, the proclivity of this, this more contagious variant of COVID, is there gonna be more support then for this one dose approach? Yes, as the, as the public health crisis of the number of cases and the new variant um, results in, in more deaths and disability from COVID, there is a greater need for us to think about different strategies to reach as many people as possible. Okay, Dr. Rand Barnabas, thank you so much for joining us from University of Washington in Seattle.